Hi guys, this is Shukesh Banik from India and you are watching Gadgets Portal. This is the third part of the tips and tricks series on this Galaxy S4. You must have already seen the first two parts where I've shown you a lot of tricks on this device. Now the screen saver I am using is basically the desk clock mode on this Galaxy S4 and you'll get this screen saver just after one minute of setting the desk clock mode and you can get the desk clock screen just by touching or hovering on the screen and you'll get this full-fledged desk clock with calendar weather info and some quick launch applications you can also use it in landscape mode and in this way galaxy s4 can replace a desk clock now you can add maximum of 16 shortcuts or applications here and this is also customizable that is you can rearrange or remove any one you can get the notification window just by swiping down twice on the top part of the phone you can tap here to check the agenda or the events of the day well as you can see i have also set a custom wallpaper for this desk clock now let me show you some important settings you can hide these shortcuts here and you can edit this from this option you can add any one from the apps list on this device now from the settings you can change the wallpaper and there are some specific dock settings here you can pause here and check this out now let's turn off this desk clock and you can turn it on from here on the clock application of your galaxy s4 now let me show you some interesting things on this alarm you will love to know you can obviously set multiple alarm and there are different types of alarm including this briefing which will read out the alarm time the schedule of the day the weather info and the news headlines which is quite interesting to hear i'll show you a quick demo of it you can also customize the briefing contents and you'll obviously need internet connection for this now here on this alarm tone you can add new alarm tone and there is a very interesting option here this auto recommendation will extract the main parts of the sound clips and set as the alarm tone well the most interesting option on this alarm is this location alarm the alarm will trigger whenever you reach any specified location on the map and this is very handy when you are driving you can set the destination on the map and the alarm will trigger whenever you reach that point you can also use it while traveling on bus and you can take a nap let me show you how can you set this location alarm you can directly write the address here or you can point on the map you have to turn on the mobile data and the gps now what you have to do is to press and hold on the map where you want the alarm to trigger and you will also get the address here this is basically a nice trick on the map to get the address of any location so this location alarm sounds quite exciting and try it yourself you can also turn on this snooze option and you can set the interval and the number of repetition there is another very interesting option here it is smart alarm and in this option the sound will start few minutes early and quietly and the sound will increase slowly until you get the original alarm you can also set the interval and also tone for this smart alarm now let me show you a demo of the briefing alarm type The sound is kinda robotic but you can download the latest HD sound and 
the volume is also not that much high. Here is the original alarm. Well, that is all for the clock and I hope that you are liking this video. I am showing you each and every hidden corner of this Galaxy S4 so that you can get the most of this awesome device. So it will be great if you subscribe and keep in touch with this channel because I will upload a lot of videos on this Galaxy S4 in near future showing you all the tips and tricks on this device. So subscribe and keep in touch and don't miss any show. Now buddies, I will be showing you the tricks for the dialer and I have added a very handy widget. Here it is and this is a direct dial widget. You can call your frequently used contacts directly from the home screen with one tap and this is very handy. This widget is preloaded on this Galaxy S4. Let me show you. Here it is and you can also add the whole contact to the home screen and also this direct messaging widget. Now here on this dialer, if you hover your finger over the keypad, you will get this small preview of the speed dial contacts you have set to these numbers and as you know you can just press and hold on these numbers to directly call the speed dial contacts you have set to these numbers. To add a new speed dial, you have to press and hold on the numbers you have not set speed dial for. Now there is a very basic and old trick I want to show you. If you hit this dial button, you will get the redial option that is the recent number you have dialed on this phone. Here on this contacts menu, just like any other Samsung device, you can directly call any person just like this way and you can swipe left to directly message to that contact. Now let's open a contact and let me show you what are the tricks I have for you here. First of all you can set custom ringtone for every contact, especially your favorite contacts and you can know which person is calling you without even picking up the phone. Now you can obviously set any song as the ringtone and under this sound picker option, you will get the auto recommendation option as I have shown you on the alarm. This will extract the main that is the highlights of these songs and set as the ringtone. Let me show you a demo of it. I think this auto recommendation works nice though Samsung could have included a direct crop option. Now you can also set custom vibration pattern and you can also create one which is quite interesting. You have to just tap to create your personal vibration pattern and in this way you can guess which person is calling you even when your phone is in your pocket and in silent mode. After opening the contact, if you put your phone to your ear, you can directly call the number. If you press and hold on the contacts, you will get this add to reject option and this is extremely handy, especially if you get annoyed by the frequent advertisements calls and I have done it myself and now I don't get disturbed by those annoying calls. After getting a call, you can mute the ringtone by pressing the volume rocker or just by turning over the phone. After receiving the call, there are a few important options you should check, like this one will enable extra volume when you are in a very noisy place and this is extremely handy. There is another option you should check when you are in a noisy place, this option will turn on the secondary microphone at the top which will cancel the noise input at the primary microphone. This is an extremely interesting option. You can personalize the call sound and you have to manually calibrate this adapt sound when you get this device for the first time. I'll show you a demo of it in the later part of this video. So be with me. Now you can also receive any call by pressing the home key and reject or disconnect any call by pressing the power key. 
so you can hang up the phone in a fraction of a second and you don't have to bring the phone in front of your eyes and click on the screen you can reject any call even when your phone is in your pocket and you have to actually turn on these options from the settings let me show you here is the option you should check first option will enable the home key as the call answer key and this option will enable the phone to reject or disconnect any call with the power key you can also enable voice control from here where you can answer or reject any call with voice commands there are a lot of things here and i'll cover this in the later episodes of this review series so keep in touch with gadgets portal now i am going to show you the best feature on this galaxy s4 you can personalize call sound and you can also set this for the music player and the adapt sound is the best option here this will change the whole music experience on this galaxy s4 you can set soft sound or clear sound and you can also set the adapt sound which is an absolutely brilliant feature you have to calibrate this for the first time and you have to attach the headphone for that this is the calibrated and this is the original graph of your hearing experience and this is different for both of your ears you can also set which ear you use most during calls now let me show you how can you use this adapt sound and calibrate your headphone and also your ears that is your hearing capability which is obviously different from others and you can also calibrate your different type of headphones you will hear some beeps with different pitch and different volume and what you have to do is to select whether you are hearing those beeps or not in this way this phone will make a graph of your hearing capability and also the quality of the headphone so after setting this the whole music experience will change and i have tried it myself and this works extremely good this is another very useful option this option will increase the volume of the ringtone when your phone is in your pocket or in your bag or anything else there are a couple of nice things here you can check this too which will enable you to know when your call started and ended though i don't suggest this as vibration when you have put your phone to your ear may feel very annoying you can also turn it off which will also disable any kind of alarm or messaging notification during calls well buddies that is all in the third episode and in the next episode i'll show you the messaging especially the keyboard which is absolutely brilliant on this galaxy s4 so it will be great if you subscribe and keep in touch with this channel you can also check the first two episodes where i have shown you the lock screen home screen notification panel a lot of other things on this galaxy s4 if you are really into this device and also liking what gadgets portal is doing then share this video with your friends and also comment in the comment section if you have any question you can also check my facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal and also my exclusive play channel where i show android games and applications at youtube.com slash gadgets portal play so thanks for watching see you in the next video Subscribe and keep in touch.